Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and this is your first video, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. Hope you all had a great weekend. It is the last day of the month of April, so it is time for a empties video. And I have a huge empties video this month. I have a whole basket here full of like candles and home fragrance stuff. And then I have this bin here that is full of uh, body care and those kind of items. All right, I will go ahead and start off with the candles. Since Easter was uh, this month, I went ahead and burned some Easter candles. So the first one here that I have is the Let's Get Excited. This is in the scent Marshmallow Fluff. And I love this packaging with all of the little chickies. And then it does come with a black lid. It smells so, so good. I love the marshmallow scent that is in this candle. It has scent notes of fluffy marshmallow, creamy vanilla, and whipped sweet cream. Definitely smells sweet, creamy, marshmallow, and fluffy. So this is a great scent and a great candle if you really love marshmallow scents. So I loved burning that this month. And the next one that I have here is the Wildberry Jam Donut. I love this purple matte packaging here. This came with a silver galvanized lid. And this one smells amazing as well. I'm not sure why the uh, wick went all the way over there. But pretty clean burn overall. And this one has scent notes of sweet wildberry jam, powdered donut, and brown sugar crumble. You definitely get the wildberry jam and the powdered donut. And the brown sugar is definitely there as well. And it's a really nice sweet berry jammy donut kind of candle. A nice gourmand candle. So there's that one. And then the next candle that I have here is the peppermint hot chocolate. This candle was very, very nice. Oh, it smells so good. So pepperminty. It has this little snowflake lid. And this one also burned pretty good. It has a little bit of soot, but other than that, it really burned beautifully. I had it in my little hallway here uh, going up and down the stairs. And it had a good medium throw. It has scent notes of sweet peppermint, silky milk chocolate, and sweet cream. Definitely smell the chocolate. Definitely smell the peppermint. And it definitely has this like creamy, nice scent to it. So I would definitely repurchase this one for sure next Christmas. And I love this packaging. It has like an icy frost uh, label on it. Super, super cool. And then the next one I have here is uh, Somebody Loves You Sweet Carrot Cake. This candle is absolutely amazing. It has this beautiful little bunny lid this year. And this has scent notes of sweet cream cheese frosting, fluffy carrot cake, and cinnamon spice. Oh, this candle is absolutely amazing. Very, very strong candle. It actually had a really high throw compared to the Tutti Frutti candy one. I cannot wait to repurchase this one again next year, and I love this packaging as well. Little like flower bed here with the bunny. And they're doing a lot of holographic labels nowadays. So there's that one. And then another Easter one. I have the Happy Easter Tutti Frutti candy from last year. And this like blue plaid packaging. With that cute little bunny there. And this one has a Happy Easter lid. I love this lid a lot. And this one smells so good. So berry and candy like. This one has set notes of sweet jelly beans, mixed berries, and sugar lemon. Yes, it is oh so good. The lemon is uh, very prominent in this candle. It's almost like a uh, lemon head candy candle. With the little sweet jelly bean candies and the mixed berries. I love this candle so much. It was really, really strong in this uh, packaging. Alright, and then next up here I have the Sugar Lemonade and Blueberry Sugar. This is one of the blend candles that came out during Candle Day last year. This one is really, really good. It's a nice berry lemon candle. It has scent notes of sweet blueberries, fresh lemon juice, and sugar crystals. Definitely has like that sugary candy vibe mixed in with the blueberries and the lemons. I love this candle. I would definitely repurchase this candle again. 
And I love the um, purple wax that was in here. It looks kind of gray on camera, but it is like a kind of purpley wax. And then it came with like this little dot lid here. I love this lid, really nice style. So there's that one. And then a couple more candles here. I did burn and do a review on this one, the Driftwood Waves. Was not too impressed with the throw on this candle. This is one of the candles that has the glass lids. And this candle was $32.95. It has scent notes of crisp sandalwood, salted bergamot, and ocean air. It smelled really, really good on cold, but it had absolutely no throw. It had like very, very light throw. You could almost barely smell it, but this was definitely one of the candles that I wanted to buy and review. So I was super sad that it ended up being kind of disappointing. And then the last three wick candle here is the peanut butter and jelly ice cream candle from the ice cream candy shop candle collection. And this candle was absolutely amazing. Very peanut buttery jelly ice cream vibe. It has scent notes of raspberry jelly, vanilla ice cream, and peanut butter sauce. You don't really get a whole lot of the peanut butter on cold, but when you're burning it, it really has a lot of that peanut butter that comes through. I'm so glad that I was able to get this candle. It sold out in like two or three hours, so I was super happy I could get my hands on it. And it had a pretty dirty burn. But other than that, it was a really, really good candle. And I love this packaging with the white lid here and this purple wraparound label with those sprinkles. I will definitely be keeping this jar for sure. And those are all of my three wick candles. So I'll go through my one wick candles now. I burned the sweet carrot cake from last year. I did have this one on my uh, candle warmer. So that's why... The wax is still kind of high. This candle had a very, very strong throw as well. There is something about the sweet carrot cake that is a really nice candle. And then I also burned from this year the sweet carrot cake. This one was really, really good as well this year. They do a really good job on the sweet carrot cake candle. And I burned this one until it wouldn't burn anymore. So that one was really, really nice. And then I also have the uh, Tutti Frutti Candy Easter Candle from this year. This candle had almost no throw as well, but I love the packaging. And I do love the Tutti Frutti Candy scent. It smells okay on cold, but it has like pretty much no throw when you're burning it. Or at least I didn't. And then I have this one going in the bathroom downstairs. It is the Berry Hibiscus Cooler. I think I got this one at maybe Winter Sass or Summer Sass last year. It says, feels like drifting away under a shady palm. And it has palm leaves, sparkling melon, and berry hibiscus uh, as the scent notes here. And this candle was very good. It had like a berry melon scent. And then it also had that palm leaves, which gave it kind of like a tropical, like resort kind of vibe. So that one was pretty good. And then the last one that I have here is the hot cocoa and cream. I did pour the wax out into another hot cocoa and cream. I had this one on the wax warmer as well. And this one has scent notes of decadent milk chocolate, fresh steamed milk, and mini marshmallows. I love hot cocoa and cream. It is my favorite scent during the winter time. Oh, it's so good. I love collecting each package from the candles that comes out. All right, so those are all of my Bath & Body Works candles. Now I have some uh, other home fragrance stuff here. I have some wallflowers. I went through a pink Prosecco frosting. I had this uh, in my bathroom. And it has scent notes of pink sugared buttercream, fresh blackberries, and chilled Prosecco. This is a really, really nice candle and a really, really nice wallflower. So I'm super happy that I still have one or two more of those. And then I put a limoncello in the bathroom downstairs. This has scent notes of Sorrento lemons, cane sugar, and lemon zest. This is a very nice wallflower as well. And then the third one here, I had a Fala La Latte. I had this one in my bathroom at the beginning of the month, and my mom thought that I was baking brownies in the oven when I had first plugged this one in. 
It has scent notes of a shot of espresso, sweet vanilla foam topped with warm cookie crumbles. This one was super, super good in the wallflower, and it's also good in the candle. So I'm glad that I had uh, both forms. I think that it would make a really great body care as well, but that's just my opinion. And then I just have a few more things here from like Febreze and the um, some Airwig stuff. So I have this Febreze Unstoppable Touch Fabric Spray. I use this on my curtains and on my bed. I wasn't like super impressed about it. I probably won't repurchase that. And then I also had this Unstoppable's Wax Melt and the scent Fresh. I definitely wanted to try this out. I have this at my Family Dollar. It comes in like this really huge like wax cube, uh, like almost like a water droplet. And it was only $4. And I thought that they were pretty strong. I would definitely repurchase these. And then I had this fresh cotton here from Mainstays. This one was okay. I probably wouldn't repurchase that one. And then I have this, I believe it's a Glade or a Febreze plug-in, but I have one of these right here, one of the dual ones. And this was, I believe this was cotton and fresh lavender. That was really, really good, so I was glad that I picked that up. And then the last thing here is a air wick, like air diffuser, and this was in the scent lavender and sandalwood. No, it's absolutely amazing. What you do is you like turn this timer on and for eight hours a day it goes for you. You don't have to restart it or anything like that. All right, let's go ahead and get into the body care now. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this loofah and trade it in for another one. I also used up uh, some of this Dr. Teal's bath salt. This is in the Soothe and Comfort with oat milk, argan oil, and essential oils. And this is made to help ease aches and soreness from muscle pains. So that came in handy. I also used up from Tree Hunt. I have this Velvet Coffee Shea Sugar Scrub. This one was super, super nice. It really paired well with the coffee and whiskey body care from uh, Bath & Body Works. It's super strong in like the espresso coffee scent. So if you love coffee or like espresso scents and body care, you have to pick this one up. And the next one here from Tree Hut is the Candied Lemon. I love this one. It smells exactly like a candied lemon, like those little lemon head candies. It is super, super strong. And this is one that I would definitely repurchase again too. And then I have some body creams here. I went to a Among the Clouds body cream. This one is super good. It has scent notes of Wildberry Skies and Wet Vanilla Clouds. I love that scent. And I also went through a Aromatherapy Lavender and Vanilla. This is in the Sleep. This one was super good. Very light on the vanilla. Uh, very heavy on the lavender. But it was really, really nice to use that and go to bed. Uh, I really had some good night's sleep when I was using that. And then I have a body scrub here. I emptied a Love Cotton Candy Champagne Glowing Body Scrub from Bath & Body Works. I love this scent. It has scent notes of bubbly rosé, sweet strawberry, and pink sugar. It's a nice strawberry candy bubbly scent. It's a really, really good scent, and I do hope that they uh, come out with it again one day. And then I have some hand soaps here. It was Easter this month, so I went through some Easter soaps. We have Some Bunny Loves You Sprinkled Donut. This has scent notes of buttercream milk and sweet vanilla. This one was super good, super gourmand-like and sweet and milky. So I love that one. I had that in the kitchen. And then I used up this one in my bathroom. This is last year's Happy Easter Tutti Fruity Candy. It has scent notes of sweet jelly beans, mixed berries, and sugared lemon. I love this hand soap. It is super, super good. It is so lemon and candy-like. I love this one. I will repurchase this one every year. And then I got one from this year. This is the Hip Hip Hooray. This is the uh, Cottontail Cake Pop. It has set notes of delicious cake batter, rainbow sprinkles, and fluffy buttercream. This really reminded me of the uh, sprinkled birthday cake candle. Oh, it is super, super good. It is very cakey-like. It smells like cake frosting and sprinkles. I love that one. And then I went through a few shower gels here from the men's collection from Bath & Body Works. I went through the coffee and whiskey. 
I love this one. It is amazing. It has scent notes of coffee and Irish whiskey. And this one, I have the Happy Easter Tutti Fruity Candy from last year. I love this shower gel. It is amazing. If you love lemon mixed berry candy scents, then you definitely want to get this next year when it comes back for Easter. And then I also emptied a Love Cotton Candy Champagne Shower Gel. I love this scent. I love this in the shower gel. It's just super fruity and bubbly like. It is super, super good. I went through and emptied this Aromatherapy Conditioner. This is in the scent Lavender and Vanilla. This was amazing. I hate the packaging. Like it was super hard to uh, get the conditioner through this little nozzle here. So the packaging was terrible, but it made my hair so soft. So I would definitely repurchase this again if I seen it. It is super amazing. I don't know if they make that anymore. And then I went through some bath products. I went through an aromatherapy black chamomile luxe bath this one is amazing it says chamomile oil creates a sense of well-being and then the bergamot oil calms the mind and body i love this one it felt super super good and very luxurious and then i also emptied a lavender and vanilla in the luxe bath this one was pretty much the same very luxurious feeling and it really felt like kind of silky almost and it lathered up pretty nicely so it was nice to just relax and like the lavender and vanilla scent. I love lavender when I'm trying to relax. And then I went through a bath salt here. This is the Inspired Joy. This is the Juniper and Sage. This one uh, smelled amazing as well. That Juniper and Sage is really strong in this one. And then I went through a couple of the mini fine fragrance mist here. I have a Happy Easter Tutti Fruity Candy from last year. They did not come out with the mini fine fragrance mist this year. And then I also went through uh, the hot cocoa and cream in the mini fine fragrance mist. This is the last little bit of body care that I have of hot cocoa and cream. I'm super sad, but hopefully, like, please, Bath and Body Works, bring back hot cocoa and cream and the body care this year, please. All right, and then next up here, I went through a hot cocoa and cream in the hand cream. This one was amazing, so chocolatey and creamy-like. I loved using that one. And then I went through a bunch of uh, pocket backs this month. The first one I have here is the Black Cherry Merlot. I love this one. It was very cherry-like, and it was super, super good. And then the next one that I emptied here was the Pink Peach Blossom. I don't know. I probably wouldn't repurchase this one. It was very strong in the peach, and a lot of people uh, didn't really like it when I was uh, using it at work. And then the next one I have here is the Happy Place Morning Mandarin. This one is super nice, kind of orangey. Smells like citrus, super, super good. And then I went through the Somebody Loves You Tutti Fruity Candy from last year. Love that one so much. And then I went through a couple cool ones that I got from the outlet. I got the Be Happy, Be Kind, Be You in the Rainbow Passion Fruit. I absolutely loved this one. It smelled absolutely amazing. I wish I got more of those. And then I got this Kindness is Cool Raspberry Snow Cone. This one was amazing. A 10 out of 10 for sure. This is the Raspberry Snow Cone. This is super, super strong, and it stays on my hands for like an hour. So this one was amazing. Very raspberry and candy-like. And then I have a essential uh, pillow mist here. Uh, this is the Aromatherapy Sleep, the Chamomile and Bergamot. I loved using this on my headboard and my pillows. It really gave me a great night's sleep. And then my last product here that I emptied in April... It is a cologne from Bath & Body Works. And I did not think that I was going to use this up so quickly. But I did finish and empty a coffee and whiskey. There is nothing left in there. And this has scent notes of just coffee and Irish whiskey. Super, super good. Very uh, unisex. I loved wearing this. I'm so wishing that I picked up a couple more during SAS last year. But this one was a very, very good one to have in my collection. 
I didn't want to use it all, but I just loved it so much that I just kept going and kept going, and then eventually it emptied out. So this was a very, very good cologne, and I would definitely repurchase that one if it came back. All right, that is the end of my empties. Both bins here are emptied out. So I will put this one over here somewhere. And if you guys have watched my empties videos before, this is empty. So my goal is to fill it up again. So let's see what happens in the next empties video in May. And I have exciting news. I can finally recycle my products. I can take it to a store and recycle it in this little bin. It is this thing called TerraCycle, and what they do is they uh, come to Bath & Body Works stores and they pick up the bins of anything that people have uh, brought in to recycle. I'm going to throw up a bunch of pictures here. Uh, if you want to pause and read all about it, you totally can. But it's a really, really cool company, and you can bring in certain things as long as you empty them out. And at my store, they're giving away a $5 coupon over a $25 order if you uh, do bring in some products and recycle them. So that is super, super cool. I am so glad that they are doing something like that and that it is finally available in one of my stores. All right, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Thank you so much for everyone who has subscribed recently. It really helps my channel out so much. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you.